The art of peace leads us beyond weapons and force to a harmonious life in tune with the universe. By cultivating inner peace, nurturing life, and preventing destruction, we embody the true essence of a samurai service and devotion inspired by love. This philosophy reminds us of our interconnectedness, urging us to embrace tranquility and compassion as our greatest strengths. Choosing love over conflict reveals the path to fulfillment, where serving with love becomes our most profound purpose. While renowned as formidable warriors and key figures in Japanese history, samurai were deeply embedded in a culture rich with action, duty, and honor. As a diverse class with varying ranks, their status determined their lifestyle and societal influence within the rigid hierarchy of feudal Japan, shaping every facet of their existence with a steady sense of purpose. Research associate professor and expert in mineral processing science, Alexander Bogdanov, who is also an acclaimed writer, shares his insights. The paths by which interesting information reaches us are indeed mysterious. Let me take you on a journey. About 40 years ago, a numismatist acquaintance offered me an unusual coin, a hefty one weighing nearly 15 grams on pharmacist scales. It was an oval-shaped gold coin with characters minted on both sides. A Japanese language translator I knew revealed that such coins were used by samurais. Since the early medieval period, there was a custom where a landowner and military feudal lord, daimyo, would regularly provide their samurai with portions of rice for sustenance. The traditional portion was about 150 grams of rice, measured by a container with a volume of roughly 180 milliliters. Over the course of a year, a samurai would receive 1,000 such portions, totaling 180 liters, its 48 U.S. gallons. This quantity of rice was known as a koku, and provinces' yields, feudal wealth and taxes were all evaluated in these units. Even the size of merchant vessels carrying rice was measured in koku. It's a very rational and convenient practice, don't you think? A ship with a capacity of 1,000 koku was considered large. A rice portion of one one-thousandth koku was called go, and if the same volume was used to measure sake, the portion was also called go. Therefore, in the context of sake, one go is 180 milliliters of rice wine with a traditional alcohol content of 15%. Even today, sake bottles are usually available in multiples of 180 milliliters, most commonly 720 milliliters, which is four go. But what of the golden coin I purchased for my collection? If a samurai had his own source of food, he could receive a coin called one koban emphasis on the O from his feudal lord daimyo instead of the annual rice ration. In such cases, the samurai would sew it onto his clothing as a symbol of status. I was curious to compare how the price ratio between rice and gold had changed over time in Japan. Surprisingly, not by much. The gold in that ancient coin's monetary equivalent would still allow a modern Japanese person to purchase one koku of white rice. Alas, the story of the samurai's rice doesn't end here. Samurais received only white rice, more expensive and prestigious, from their daimyo. Brown rice was thoroughly milled in special drums, undergoing a process known as polishing. This lengthy friction removed the hull, bran and skin, as well as the seed germ, leaving the rice white yet stripped of B vitamins and micronutrients present in the husk. Quite unexpected, isn't it? Such a monotonous diet led to a condition in samurais known as samurai sickness, which within five years could be fatal. In countries without samurai, this disease was referred to as the disease of the four Ds, diarrhea, dermatitis, dementia, death. Its scientific name is pellagra. The term samurai sickness for pellagra likely originated from what the common people used to call it. For centuries, pellagra was thought to be contagious. However, in the early 20th century, it proved to be dietary. Once the diet was corrected, 
humans could recover from these notorious 4D symptoms. Now, with the new keywords from this video, you can learn all the details on the topics we've only briefly touched on today.